So we've spent a lot of time talking about adding, subtracting, multiplying, polynomials, quadratics, etc. But we really haven't spent any time talking about dividing. That's because dividing has its own set of rules and is a little more in-depth than the other operations. But in this video, we're going to talk about just a very, it's like a shortcut that sometimes works with division, which is going to be basically canceling things out by factoring. So this first problem here is an old one. Um, this is something you've been doing for years. All you would do here is you would add the top and add the bottom, deal with that, so you end up with 10 over 5, which is equal to 2. And that's all you would do there, and that I think pretty much everybody would be able to do, and that should kind of make sense. Now, I put this problem on here because when people see a problem like this second one, what they'll want to do is cancel out the x squareds or something like this. So they'll get rid of these, and they'll just say this is your answer right there. Maybe they'll do something like that. Or maybe they'll even go one step further and try canceling these x's as well, reducing numbers, and just all sorts of bad stuff that you're not supposed to do. The reason you cannot just cancel out these x squareds here is similar to how you can't just cancel out these 2's on this problem. So people want to slash these out. Look at what happens when you cancel out the 2's. If you do that, you just get 8 over 3, which is clearly not going to equal 2. It's not the same thing. When you see little pluses or minus signs here, you can't slash out unless you take it off of each part. That's why before when we saw things like 4x minus 6 over 2, we have to divide both parts here. We can't just slash out this part. We have to do it to both. So um, the same thing goes on these problems right here. You're not allowed to just take this and cancel out your x squareds. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to do our magic numbers, and we're actually going to factor the top and bottom of this equation. So I am going to do my factoring super fast here. Um, since it's just 1x squared, I can use my shortcuts. The top is going to factor into x plus 2 times x plus 3. And the bottom, if I do my numbers, need to add to negative 3, multiply to negative 10. It'll be negative 5 and 2. will be x minus 5 and x plus 2. Now you'll notice that on these problems here, I have an x plus 2 on the top and on the bottom. Those are okay to cancel because what I'm doing is I'm canceling out multiplication here. I'm not taking a plus or minus sign and slashing like I would be here. I'm just going to slash those two out. I get x plus 3 over x minus 5, and that's my final answer. I can't cancel out the x's or go any farther with it. So our basic strategy for these problems is going to be to factor and hope something cancels. Obviously, um, it's not always going to work. We're going to learn a method that will always work for division. But for right now, if you're asked to divide two polynomials, that's what we're going to do. We're going to factor it. We're going to hope that something's the same so we can slash it out. I have just two more problems to try for this. Um, so maybe you want to go ahead and pause the video and just do these and check the answers. I'll go fairly fast through them, though. This first one here, I have to add to 9 and multiply to 14. Uh, magic numbers will end up being 7 and 2. So this turns into x plus 7 times x plus 2 over x plus 2. And as luck would have it, we have x plus 2's top and bottom. Those will cancel each other out. All I get left is just x plus 7. No more denominator I can put over 1 if I want to, but I don't have to. So that problem is done. And the last problem here, if I do magic numbers on the bottom, I need to add to negative 13 and multiply to positive 30. That will end up being negative 3 and negative 10. So my problem factors into x minus 3 on top, x minus 3, x minus 10 on the bottom. So again, as luck would have it, I have matching x minus 3s that can cancel. There's nothing left up top, so I'm going to put a 1 there. Because this is in the bottom, I have to make sure I keep it in the bottom. Kids will mistakenly just write x minus 10 for their answer. It's on the denominator, so you put 1 over that. That is my final answer. Now, obviously, this isn't always going to work, but if something does match, um, it's a great quick way to do division. 